Hello, and good morning. Okay, so uh, this is a little bit farther than the last time. I uh, actually went and did a couple of uh, quick fights to balance out the levels. I actually had gone and tried to record those, uh, but basically different complications com came up in the background during that time, so didn't quite happen. So just finished up with a second one here, so uh, I can get Murden his extra goodness here. Um, in general, most of uh, most of what ended up happening, um, these two are nines now, so I can basically get them a little bit leveled or a little bit uh, better equipment. Um, actually, Aerosol is going to get the uh, the brigandine here, mostly because she needs it a lot more. And let's see, do I have any better crossbows? I doubt it. Well, I have one. All right, she'll get that too. And that looks pretty well fine. Um, so, the plan for this next one, this is the, uh, uh, the Seria fight. So this is the one that you more or less wind up uh, having to protect a naked person in the middle of a crowd. So, plan here is basically to have Lloyd run up and evac her while everybody else just holds off as much as possible. I'm primarily expecting these two to do, uh, basically just do a bunch of debuffs. Uh, a lot of them have different skills now, so gave uh, War and Lightning, for example, just for the use of Stun Bomb. Uh, Bayon's about the same, but a lot of them got their extra support stuff going. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Oh, and I also got one more of these guys. I think Tiro's the new guy. Uh, basically, I have one... Uh... Ah, crap. I have one uh, Axe guy, one um, uh, Heavy Axe guy. Just because why not? You know, might as well make use of both of them. There we go, so got a two-hander, a stabby guy. Uh, you know what? Nothing's considered... I'm kind of considering just giving this guy his... Uh, and this guy this thing. And then giving this one a stabby. You know what? I think we're gonna do that. Because lately I've been having a bit of an issue, uh, which by the way, this guy I guess was looking for that whole Roman look. But no, with uh, the ninja here, I uh, was having a bit of an issue with him. And that issue was just that uh, he was getting crits constantly with the fist. As I understand, the general idea there is that it's possible that it's getting crits regardless. Uh, that it's not supposed to... Um, it, it's Okay, the way I had him set up, the fist is supposed to be the primary, meaning the secondary, which is the katana there for its... Uh, Crit bonus. The crit bonus is only supposed to either apply to the to the secondary, or it's just not supposed to apply at all, which is what I was hoping for. Essentially, just having it as a TP reduction weapon, and that's it. But the thing is, though, it was not quite working that way. He was constantly just critting all the friggin' time. So instead, we're going back for the same thing of uh, fist and dagger, going for poison and silence. So essentially, just kind of standard uh, healer shutdown kind of situation as well as sleep, so he's all about his debuffs. Uh, but yeah. Um, Murden's actually going in on this one because he's pretty decent. Uh, well, hell, he's really good, what am I saying? Um, and Volker too, so let's, uh, let's give this a go. See if the run ends here, if we're continuing on. Uh, Potato is going to lead it, kind of. All right. So if I recall, that should be a good spot for you. Actually, no. There we go, let's put that there, let's put you here. Alright, you dogs need to stop barking. What is your issue? Well, I'm looking at a guy outside and, oh no, 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 we're totally gonna protect the house now. You guys are gonna, aren't gonna do jack, are you freaking kidding me? I swear this, uh, pug's breath is more deadly than anything else. Alright, um, yeah. That looks about right. Because I want to avoid having any arc weapons on this one. So these two, uh, do I want to do that? I, mm. Essentially what I want Volker here for is to completely barricade off the left side. Or completely barricade off the right. Still not sure. Um, it depends on how their formation goes, because I didn't actually look at it beforehand. 
But I'm thinking Lloyd goes first, probably gets her out, and then hopefully gets himself out. He might not make it. We'll see. A potato here is just needed for his frontal damage. Um, he'll be supported by the two healers, so he should be fine. Uh, Murden's there to spread around stuns around the middle. These two are there to spread around all kinds of debuffs, and then these two are kind of there to shoot at range. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let me put this down for one sec. But okay, so we're uh, good to go here. Let me get sent back to Heim. Wait, they killed them all. Oh, hang on. One sec. Hello. So this is going to be the first uh, first edited one in quite a while. Uh, essentially, uh, got a little bit more of a workload over on this end, so, you know, such things come up. Uh, hopefully this will not be as normal of a thing, but still getting adjusted to the new schedule here. But alright, so, I guess she just went and got ridiculously competent off screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you come here on the other route, she is dead. <laughs> uh, she's less evil later. Well, he's got a point. I mean, there is an army down there, so... Or at least a small platoon, whatever. No, a platoon's like 30 people, so... Half of one, whatever. <laughs> Welp. Yeah, that sounds a little bit more questionable. Oh, and she also starts out with damage now, because the leaden status applies that too. Actually, I'm curious, will the damage carry over? Or will it just be leaden that carries over? Let's see. Nope. Yeah, marching noises. Alrighty, let's give this a try then. So they're gonna move first, that's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> yeah, Sarah is a bit of a nut, <laughs> in all honesty. Pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much true of all guerrilla groups, actually. Uh, so that's all well and good. Now, first off, did the damage carry over? Yes, it did. And uh, she actually gets started off with armor. Okay. Uh, in, um, I believe in base game, she actually doesn't start with anything. Just starts off completely naked. But either way, she doesn't have a weapon, so there's that. Uh, and she's got fire, so... Should be able to still do some damage with that. Mm. As much as I want to get Bayon going around that right... So yeah, you know what, no. I'm gonna have to have uh, one caster going around the right, one going down the center. We'll just see who gets there to, uh, to use their respective stuff first. See if Lloyd's able to get to her in time. And have my crossbows probably go around along the right here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they'll have a decent angle. 
Ooh, she even does some pretty darn decent damage, all things considered. Uh, so, even though I have done this fight on one vision before, I've done it all in New Game Plus, so she came in ludicrously overpowered, like, to the point where she was pretty much flat-out killing people with a punch, so, uh, that's not exactly the case this time. Alright. Actually, you know what? You stick with the right group, because they're probably going to need some healing, too. Even though I'm expecting the center group to take the majority of the damage. Nice. We'll take those ludicrously improbable misses. Okay. <laughs> he just doesn't take damage, I guess. Um, do I still want... you know what? No, I'm going to have him run down the center then. So, in the other versions of this fight, you can end up bogged down in the center a lot easier. Uh, it feels like in this one they start up slightly higher. So don't get as stuck in the center, but it's still very possible. Brownwich got um, uh, two very thin choke spots right on the right on the edge of the main movement area. It's like right here and right here. That's where everybody gets choked up. All right. Well, these guys still move the same, so. You will do piss all damage, that's fine. Under leveled with a weapon that's under leveled. Wasn't really expecting much out of them. Actually, truth be told, I was kind of expecting the them to function as a little bit of a lightning rod for the casters. We'll see. Uh, that guy has to be pretty decently armored. Oh crap! Okay, um, first off, what's your situation? Yeah, he's armored. Medium armor, but still armor. <laughs> Alright, you get stunned, hopefully. Meditate this turn, and then extend next turn. Alright, this shouldn't work. Yeah, no. <laughs> Alright, right now, his best bet is just to be a lightning rod here. I'm not really sure why his damage is so bad, though. Whatever, something to worry about later. Just, just. Probably gonna have her stay there just in case. So, to win this fight, only Oz has to go down, although that's a lot easier said than done. Because he's, you know, a little bit of a beast. Uh, he's definitely the squishier one. But still. Also, I think it may be time for a cut here again. Uh. Or not, okay. Pretty sure they were back up again. Lots of little children's going up and down. Well, not necessarily lots, but still. <laughs> there we are. Stagger and Y. Exactly one point. Oh well. Would have been able to get off a stun there. Debuffs are your friend. Actually, that's the nice thing about Spellblades. Uh, pretty much having exclusive access to a lot of buffs now. Oof. I think ages doesn't matter for uh, for height. Let's see. <clears throat> well, I guess I won't be doing extend after all. No wait, it was Warren that I was expecting to do extend. All right now, you guys move forward. 
No water super effective against fire. Also gotta appreciate that they called him Firebrand earlier. Or Har, they're a fire element. Even though that completely doesn't say much in this one. <laughs> Okay, what else can we do here? Probably major... Nope. You don't have major heal for some reason. Oh well. With... Okay, that's good. Now I just need my ninja move. Yeah, okay. So he's gonna be able to evac her... Then he will need to get the hell out of there. Fulker will go in and plug the gap. Alright. Anyway, um, gotta put a cut here. Alrighty, and I'm back again. Uh, where were we on this? Uh, I guess I could poke these two. Ooh, nice. Double nice. Alright. Sounds pretty good. Um... What does this look like here? Looks like damage. Looks like damage. Mm -hmm. I do another meditate and then extend next round. Okay. Get this evac happening. Get out of here, Syria. Your naked butt that decided to show up armored this time. And you guys are idiots for not taking away her armor. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure he actually put the armor uh, on her because it was unwinnable before. I vaguely recall seeing that, and... Okay, there we go. Lloyd's taken out. Uh, we'll see if it's possible to save him or not. All right, first things first, no escape for you guys. Now we have to take out these four down here, and then move on. Ugh. That is some pitiful damage. Don't suppose you can get a shot off on this guy for some reason? Eh, it was worth a shot. No pun intended, or was it? Who knows? So we're not trapped up here. They're trapped down there. So stun bring a strengthen. He's stun. There we go. He's gonna go up here. Actually, no, he's gonna go over here and hopefully be a little bit of a lightning rod. As will Sestina. Uh, there's a very good chance we're probably gonna lose maybe another one or two people before finishing off these four. Uh, even with two healers, just because of how much they've got going on. Um, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Hmm. At least that doesn't give silence anymore. That would have been annoying. Yeah, original Balder bows, if they were upgraded, they did silence, which I guess these guys never used upgraded gear anyway. Minus a couple of guys that showed up with, like, one or two upgraded items for one exact fight. Oh crap. Really hoping he'd move, or a healer would move, or somebody would do anything at all. But alright, we'll just go ahead and do that. Um... One of our biggest, our second biggest source of damage gone, but we'll live. Okay. I suppose I could back off and force them to come to me, but no. <laughs> nice. I will evac Warren eventually. Right now it's mop-up time. What I'm kind of hoping for here is they'll 
eventually have to send down Oz. Uh, typically after you take out his first few units, he'll decide, hey, I'm the front line now, and then he'll run down. Just because as far as I can tell, the AI kind of functions on a thing of, like, they just kind of judge uh, how many frontline characters they have and decide that, and uh, decide their front line based off of that. So if he's pretty much the last one left, uh, then he'll be the one coming down to fight. That's why in some fights where they end up relying too heavily on monster units and stuff like that, they'll end up going and overextending their monster units and their leader will be a frontline guy and they'll be like, oh, I guess that means I'm up, and they'll just come down and pretty much just be ridiculously dumb. Mm, yeah, you're fine. Uh, just due to the general direness of the situation, I may end up letting Lloyd lose a life. We'll see. So there was talk recently of a potential different life or death system that uh, personally I thought was incredible. Uh, like it, basically the idea of just if you, if somebody gets knocked down to critical, uh, they basically get knocked out. But then if somebody gets like completely you know, their health completely zeroes out, they just straight up die. Now granted, I might be an utter masochist as far as this stuff goes, but I love that idea. It's like a good little medium between both systems, you know? So due to the fact that best case scenario, that is a very long ways out. Um, what I'll probably be going ahead is trying a manual version of that mode. Now, I can't exactly force somebody to essentially go down to uh, the critical and get knocked out. However, I can essentially stop using somebody once they go to critical. Essentially just, you know, force them to retreat. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then if somebody gets knocked, uh, knocked to zero health, then they'll just be removed from the party entirely. So, basically after this- oh, you dick. Uh, after this run, uh, that'll be the next one, probably. I had three in mind that I really wanted to do. Alright, at this point we have to evac him just to get that spot back. And the fact that he would die, I mean, that's at least a thing to consider. Well, let's get him out of here. Please crit him off that cliff. Yeah, no, so I had a few runs that I wanted to try after this one, so it's going to be the IM run first. Uh, then it's uh, going to be the same thing except, um, you know, this this mode I just mentioned. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, Bane should be able to get a shot off on this guy. But yeah, so we'll try that mode, um, try IMing it with that. And then, since I'm assuming that one will end up ending pretty early, uh, from there, I will be moving on to uh, what I'm just going to call Hunter Mode, which is, I, you know, I've, I've run into the same issue several times with uh, essentially using weapons that are way too light for the situation. Because personally, I just love using hybrid builds, and jack of all trade builds, and crit builds, and stuff like that. Essentially just any kind of trickster setup. So, in order to go ahead and try to justify that to any reasonable degree by Sestina, um, we might not be able to save you. But yeah, in order to justify that to any reasonable degree, um, well, recently I've been listening to the ever-loving hell out of this, uh, it's one remix over and over and over and over and over and over and over, just completely ad nauseum. Uh, to the point that I kind of want to try like a pseudo AOT run, so not exactly, you know, everybody has to be dual wielding the whole time, but essentially one-handed weapons um, only. So no shields and no heavy weapons. So um, yeah, that that sounded interesting. So we'll uh, we'll see how that works out. Choppy chop. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. I don't like how quickly we're dropping units, but such is life. Mm. Alright, yeah, you go over here, rob this guy. 
Probably should have done a speed star, but... Dang it. Still want to get her, uh, thieving up. Hmm. I would really like an ability on rogues to essentially just shoot... Oh, crap. To essentially just uh, shoot a uh, crossbow bolt that silences somebody. Just for, like, long range taking out a healer for a short amount of time. Hmm. Alright, forget it. Um, there is no opportunity to do any kind of evacing here. Might as well put this on Murden so that he keeps on stunning, so that he keeps on wasting turns on Innervate. What? You guys do not even need any crits right now. Alright. Taking enough turns yet? Do I get a turn yet? Mark to move, please, sir. Okay. As much as I'd like to just drop some slows on everybody, as Rake said, the best status condition is dead, so go ahead and keep trying to do that. As he meteor strikes everybody to death, because he's gotten two turns in the time Denim's gotten one. And full crit, for that matter. I really probably should have just smacked him off the cliff, although he probably is steadfast, doesn't he? Mm, no. Can I move yet? <laughs> and Denim, please get a turn. Oh, good! He's managed to figure out how to move. Like a miracle or something. Alright. I know he's not gonna appreciate this, but really? You had to crit him? Ah. Come on, Denim. Of all the times to get a crit that you never get. Uh, whatever. Moving on. Felicia's still here, so there's still hope. What I was trying to do was stab through him, kill the other guy, and essentially use the multi-heal here to keep him alive. That worked out great. Yep, perfect. No problems whatsoever. Perfect. And you just, just re-up that. I should probably have dropped a Phalanx. I know I'm using a lot of RT on him, but he's not moving very fast anyway. I think what we're gonna do... Uh, just pull everybody back underneath this wall here. And see about taking them out one at a time. Hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, I keep forgetting he's here though, so let's do a little bit of Cragfall action. <laughs> and I know I keep threatening to use Meditate. I will at some point, because I gotta go put that healer to sleep. Preferably permanently, but we'll see. We shall see. Hmm. Okay, cool, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, I'll hold on. Uh, be 